Kevin Garrett here from Code the Web, and if you guys remember a while back, we did a video on the HTML5 base element, and uh, I actually haven't done a video on an element in a while, so I figured today, right now, we will do a video on an element. It's actually called the article element. So uh, let's get involved. So the article element is pretty simple. It is actually made for forums, blog, magazines, comments, things like that, and it basically is um, independent um, kind of content that is within its own thing. You can use it within like a div or something like that, but it's kind of content that is it's like it's self-encompassing. It is completely can be used as its own thing if you want uh, within a website as long as it's you know probably makes sense to have it in some article kind of a, a context. Um, so that said, what we're going to do is we're just going to talk or show you guys how to do it. Um, pretty simple. You type in article and then you can have your, you know, um, your attributes here. We'll have, let's say, a class uh, and we'll make the class um, main, I guess, or how about home? Home, that's good. Um, and then we'll do that. We're going to indent right here. And what we're going to do is let's make this an H1. And this will be the title of our article. And in here, we will call this uh, first post. And then down here, we'll have a paragraph. And we'll just type, uh, hey, welcome to our website. This is the first post. This is the first post. Okay, cool. Let's see how that looks right now. Um, refresh. First post, see, done. You might not be able to tell just from looking at the actual, you know, result of it that anything's different because, you know, in our experience, we can just use a div to do this and then have, you know, an H1 within the div and have, you know, the, the paragraph within the, within the div as well. Um, but what this is doing is it's kind of its own special way of saying, hey, this is its own separate section of the website, probably an article, some kind of text, some kind of content for people to consume. So that's what this is. It's kind of just it's a way to break up what things are and kind of add something that's, you know, more specific than a div, but kind of similar in its own right. Um, but at the same time, different, of course. Uh, and then if we wanted to. We could style this and say um, article home. Uh, how about um, actually let's first real quick. We'll say body with 100%. This is not going to will, will be responsive kind of, but like not really at the same time. Um, just because it's like a really quick thing that we're trying to do here. Uh, and we'll say height is going to be 100% as well. Um, and then we'll say article with about 600 pixels. That's a pretty good width for, um, for like a main like a main content kind of a thing on a blog or a newspaper or like a magazine type website. We'll say height will be... Um, maybe 300 pixels uh, and let's have a box shadow just so we can kind of see what's going on and let's do this like smart box shadow thing uh, we'll do that we'll do uh, seven and like three and the color is not gonna be black it's gonna be like lighter than black Let's say three five three five three five. Don't forget the pound of the hashtag. Let's see what we got here. Cool. So that is our article. We can even even take this down to five. I don't know why that's two. It should be one. Make this one as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And then say um, margin. Zero auto. And there you go. So now it'll always kind of be in the center as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. 
So that is the article tag, guys. Thanks for watching. Here's the HTML code again. Really, really simple. Subscribe to my new channel, AppStack. Um, I do weekly app reviews. I just posted one this week, and obviously next week and so on and so forth, there'll be new app reviews. So definitely check that out. Link in the description. Peace and uh, subscribe. Later.